In this video, you will be discussing about the layers of the soul. We will mainly discuss about the muscles constituting each of these layers. So, we will discuss it one by one. You should know that the soul is consisting of four layers. One, two, three and four layers. So, the muscles of the soul is arranged into these four layers. So, how can you remember the muscles of each of these layers? So, there's an easy method for that. Uh, first of all, you should know that on the first layer and the third layer muscles are arranged in a manner. So, we will use a mnemonic for that. In the first layer, uh, put an A here. So, A here. And between the, between the two A's put an F here. So A is standing for abductor hallucis muscle. Abductor hallucis. So A here is standing for abductor digitae minimae muscle. Now, F in between these two A's will stand for flexor digitorum brevis. brevis. So, to remember the uh, muscles of the first layer of this hole, put two A's here. In between the two A's, put an F here. And in that way, you can remember the muscles. Now, how can you remember the third layer? That is here. Put an F on two sides, okay, and between the two F put an A here. So in the first layer we put uh, two A's here, in between the two A's we have put the F here. But in the third layer put F on both sides and between the two F's you put an A here. So F stands for flexor hallucis brevis. And F on the other side is for the little finger. So it is for the flexor digiti minimi. That is for the little, sorry, it is for the little toe. Not for the finger, little toe. Flexor digiti minimi for the little toe. And in between this, you are having an A here. That is for the adductor hallucis. So adductor hallucis. So this is how you are remembering the first and third layer of the muscle. Now we should remember the second and fourth layer of muscle. So how can you remember the second layer? So remember that the muscles of the second layer are the muscles are coming from the posterior compartment of the leg. So and the muscles which are associated with this muscle. So the main muscles uh, which are coming from the posterior compartment of the leg which are reaching the sole are first one it is flexor hallucis longus now you know that flexor hallucis longus is a muscle of posterior compartment of the leg and the tendon of these muscles reach the second layer of the sole and another one is flexor digitorum longus and associated with this uh, uh, flexor digitorum longus you have the flexor digitorum accessory so this muscle is accessory to the ten, uh, flexor digitorum longus muscle so it is called flexor digitorum accessories now like the upper limb that is like the upper limb uh, flexor tendons you have the lumbricals which are arising from the tendon of the flexor digitorum longus so the lumbricals is also in the second layer so Remember that these two, that is flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus are actually muscles which are coming from the posterior compartment of the leg. Now the tendon of these two muscles will cross each other in the second layer of the sole to get inserted into its respective insertions. So another muscles which are accessory to the flexor digitorum longus is flexor digitorum accessories. And we have the lumbricals which are arising from the tendon of the flexor digitorum longus also in this layer. 
so remember that the second layer consists of muscles coming from posterior compartment of the leg and the muscles which are associated with it and look at the fourth fourth one so we know that the fourth layer is the deepest layer so we have muscles in the fourth layer which are the deepest muscles of the soul so being the deepest muscles of the soul these are getting inserted into some bones of that uh, region so which are the muscles so we know that one muscle of the posterior compartment of the leg that is the tibialis posterior which is getting inserted into the navicular tuberosity and its insertion extends into other uh, bones also thalassal bones also so this muscle which get inserted into the navicular tuberosity uh, is one of the deepest muscles of the soul so that is the tibialis posterior now you know another muscle of the lateral compartment of the leg that is the peroneus longus which is getting inserted into the uh, first metatarsal bone so that muscle that is the peroneus longus it's also so sorry peroneus longus it is also present in the deep layer so we know that these two muscles uh, are coming from the leg and the tendon is getting inserted into the bones that is the it is getting inserted into the metatarsal bones or the tarsal bones so because of its attachment to the deep uh, bones it is in the deepest layer remember like that so and we know that uh, some muscles like inrosia are originating from the respective metatarsals so this inrosia that is palmar and dorsal inrosia are also the also coming under the deep layer of the soul because of its origin from deep inside the metatarsal bones so dorsal inrosia and palmar inrosia also coming in the fourth layer dorsal and palmar inrosia so this is the easy way to remember the layers of the soul or muscles constituting each of these layers so uh, this is the easiest way to remember the layers first we'll discuss about uh, each of these layers first so we will first discuss the muscles of the first layer of the soul how do you uh, remember the muscles of the first layer of soul for that uh, we will put a here a on both sides and we will put f in between that so a stands for abductor hallucis so first a stands for abductor hallucis so what is the origin and insertion of abductor hallucis abductor hallucis is for which toe that is for the big toe from the name itself we can know that it is for the big toe so uh, abductor hallucis it is located on the medial side you can see the big toe here so, that is the big toe this is the calcaneum bone so abductor hallucis originates on the medial tubercle of the calcaneum bone it is also originating from the plexor retinaculum the deep fascia and also the medial intermuscular septum so originating like this uh, muscle passes like this and the tendon of this muscle so this is the muscle and the tendon of this muscle get in inserted into the medial side of the base of proximal phalanx of the big toe. So I can see that muscle is originating from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum. Uh, the flexor retinaculum, the deep fascia and also the medial intermuscular septum and the tendon of this muscle getting inserted into the medial side of the base of proximal phalanx so this is the proximal phalanx of the big toe it is getting inserted into the medial side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the big toe so that is the abductor hallucis muscle now what is the now supply of this muscle so it is on the medial side so on the medial side the nerve is the medial plantar nerve so it is a medial plantar nerve now what is the action of this muscle from the name itself we can know the action it is abductor hallucis so it causes abduction of the great toe away from the second toe so action is abduction of 
great toe away from the second toe. So we have learned about the abductive hyalysis muscle. Now the next A. On the other side you have other A that is for the abductor digiti minimi. So that is for the little toe. Abductor digiti minimi. So this muscle has its origin from the medial and medial as well as lateral tubercle of the calcaneum. Uh, from the lateral intermuscular septum and the defacia covering it. So having origin from all these parts, uh, it passes like this and it is getting inserted into the lateral side of proximal phallus of the little toe. So if the tendon is this muscle getting inserted into the lateral side of the proximal phallus of the little toe. So this is the muscle which is originating from both the medial and lateral tubercle of the calcaneum from the lateral intermuscular septum and the defacia covering it. So the muscle is getting inserted into the lateral side of the base of the proximal phallus of the little toe. Now what is the nerve supply? Nerve supply is as this is on the lateral side this is supplied by the main trunk of the lateral plantar nerve so it is supplied by the main trunk of lateral plantar nerve so now what is the action from the name itself the action is abduction of the little toe now we have the other muscle that is the, uh, the action of abductor digitae minima is abduction of the little toe. Now you have F in between the two A's. F stands for flexor digitorum brevis. Now what about the flexor digitorum brevis? So this muscle is originating from the, uh, originating from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum. The plantar aponeurosis and the medial and lateral intermuscular septum. So, origin is from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum, plantar aponeurosis, and from the medial and lateral uh, intermuscular septum. So, the muscle passes like this. It's a large muscle which passes like this. Now, the tendon of these muscles goes into the four toes it is the tendon is like this it is splitting through the four toes so each of these toes receives a tendon of the flexor digitorum brevis now what happens the tendon of each of this passes this jelly like this now at the base of the proximal phallus each of this tendon will split into two slips now each of this tendon at the prox base of the proximal phallus it will split into two slips And each of these slip get inserted into the margins of the middle phallus like this. So it divides into two slips which is inserted into the margins of the middle phallus like this. So this is the, these are the four tendons of the flexor digitorum brevis. So each of these four toes will be receiving one tendon from the flexor digitorum brevis. Now what is the now supply of the flexor digitorum brevis? Now the now supply of the flexor digitorum brevis is now supply is the medial plantar now look at this muscle which is nearer to the adductor hallucis so remember in that way so it is also supplied by the medial plantar now so now what is the action so now that the four tendons of the flexor digitorum brevis is getting inserted into the four toes so this will be causing Flexion of the toes at the proximal interphalangeal joints. Flexion of toes at proximal interphalangeal joint.
and metatarsophalangeal joint and MTP that is metatarsophalangeal joint. So that is the action of this muscle. So we have described uh, discussed about the muscles of the first layer of the sole. How can you remember this muscle? Put two A's and in between that you put an F here. The two A's stands for abductor hallucis and abductor digiti minimi. Abductor hallucis is for the grade 2. Waiting originating from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum, the defacia covering it, the flexor retinaculum and also the medial intermuscular septum. It gets inserted into the medial side of the base of proximal phalanx of the grade 2. Uh, it is supplied, being on the medial aspect, it is supplied by the medial plantar now. So from the name itself, the action is abduction of the grade 2 away from the second toe. Now the second muscle is the abductor digiti minimi, which is for the little toe. It is originating from both the medial and lateral tubercle. Uh, the lateral intermuscular septum and the defacia covering it and getting inserted into the lateral side of the base of proximal phalanx of the little toe and what is the nerve supply being on the lateral side it is supplied by the main trunk of the lateral plantar nerve the action is from the name itself abduction of the little toe now we have a large uh, muscle here that is the flexor digitorum brevis originating from the medial tubercle plantar aponeurosis and from the lateral and medial intramuscular septum. It divides into four tendons, each tendon for the uh, four toes here. Yeah. Now uh, the tendon which is entering the each toe divides at opposite the base of the proximal phalanx into two slip. Now each of these slip get attached into the margins of the middle phalanx. Now what is the nerve supply of flexor digitorum brevis? It is the medial plantar nerve. What is the action? It causes flexion of the toes at the proximal interphalangeal joint and also at the metatarsophalangeal joint. So that is all about the first layer of the sole. Uh, we will discuss about the second layer, third layer and fourth layer in the uh, second part of this video. So thank you for watching this video. To see more videos on our channel, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.